Hey, what's up guys? Now, even though I've more or less already covered the topic on how much of a difference there is in performance, when comparing 2017's first gen AMD Ryzen 7 1700X with this year's second gen 2700X, I still do get questions like these fairly often, asking if an upgrade is worth it or whether or not one should rather go for the cheaper 1700X instead of the 2700X. And I kinda do get where those people are coming from. It makes sense, because right now the 2700X can be picked up for roughly 320 US dollars, whereas the 1700X is available for 270 dollars, sometimes even less. So what has really changed between those two CPUs? Well, first of all, the manufacturing process has improved a little, allowing for slightly higher bass and turbo clocks, but especially the way XFR and Precision Boost is working on 2nd gen Ryzen makes a noticeable difference. It's much more aggressive and intelligent now, if you like, which of course drives up the TDP by quite a bit. Another significant change is the memory controller, lower latencies in general, and instead of DDR4-2666 MHz, the Pinnacle Ridge CPUs now support 2933 natively, basically better memory support altogether, especially when paired with one of the 400 series chipsets like B450 or X470. But do not worry, you can install the 2700X onto a B350 or X370 motherboard as well, BIOS update needed, and the 1700X could go onto a B450 or X470 board, no problem. The backwards compatibility is pretty pretty awesome in my opinion. But I believe what you guys want to know is how much of a performance gain there is on the 2700X side. Unfortunately, I was running short in time overclocking the 1700X and running those benchmarks, but maybe I'll repeat this test later on. So it's very obvious the 2700X does bring some new fresh performance improvements to the table. Something you would expect, but honestly, for Ryzen 2 just being a refresh kind of CPU, I didn't expect that much of a difference. Thanks to the higher maintained clock speeds, even the single core aspect is a noteworthy improvement, but it still can't really touch Intel CPUs. However, we see an even bigger gain in multi-core areas. The 2700X when paired with a powerful cooling solution to begin with or even the included Wraith Prism Cooler manages to clock close to the maximum of what's possible with Ryzen 2 it seems. If you happen to have watched my overclocking video, I came to the conclusion it wouldn't make a lot of sense overclocking this 2018 Ryzen CPU. In some situations, mainly talking about single core, you even would be hurting performance. I overclocked to 4.2 GHz, but XFR2 and Precision Boost 2 are leading to like 4.35 GHz 
megahertz on a couple of cores, which obviously leads to a better single core score. I was really surprised to find out the frame rate in games got higher too. Okay, it's not super impressive, but these certainly are noticeable improvements from time to time, especially in GTA 5. I always thought it was the core clock that matters. However, it turns out it's the combination of both clock speed and memory controller. Remember, the latencies got lower, so this is why we are seeing some nice FPS gains as well. At least I think this might be the reason. With higher performance, temperatures did increase as well, but even more the power consumption. I mean, for an 8-core processor, it's still okay, but I wouldn't necessarily call it super low on the 2700X. But hey, slightly lower power draw on idle. So would it be worth it switching from an 1700X to the newer 2700X? In my opinion, if you have money to burn, yes. But for most of us mortals, no, it's really not worth it. Keep in mind, should you really want to get closer to the 2700X with your 1700X performance wise, just overclock. The 1700X benefits more from overclocking than the 2700X does. If you're looking to buy a new AMD Ryzen 7 CPU right now, I'd go for the 2700X. It's overall a better processor with matured features and better memory support, but it depends on your budget. The 1700X by no means is a bad choice either, just saying. And yeah, that's about all I have to say here. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.